today, a good old-fashioned doubleheader. There is a ton of excitement, especially here for game one. 23-year-old Jonathan Cannon is making his Major League Baseball debut. He gets the start on the mound. When you're picked in the third round, you're a pretty interesting prospect, and he got to the big leagues pretty quickly, and hopefully today he'll be able to show what he can do. And here he is, ground ball to short. And Cannon records his first major league out. And that will bring up Bobby Witt Jr. Adding 314. Here's another grounder. This time it's to second base. And a quick two outs here in this first inning. Over his last six games, Vinny has 11 hits, six extra base hits, and 11 RBIs. Here it comes. Swing and a pop fly off the end of the bat. Left center, not deep. It'll be Fletcher from center to take it. So that's how you start it. Jonathan Cannon with family and friends in the ballpark with a 1-2-3 first inning. Brady Singer has made three starts. His ERA is under 1, 0.98. He has allowed just two earned runs over 18 and a third innings. Dominic Fletcher, the leadoff hitter for this first game of a doubleheader as Grossman will get this first game off. 2-2. Two -two. Got him, strike three. Tied him up, strike three. Vaughn bit on the sinker inside. Might have been ball four. Instead, it's back-to-back -back K's for Singer. That brings up Gavin Sheets with two outs. Remember, he hit that home run in Kansas City off Singer. Loop to shallow right. Hunter Renfro's there. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Brady Singer. Well, Steve, you talked about Jonathan Cannon fast-tracking his way through the minor leagues. He's the first player from that 2022 draft to get a start here in the big leagues. Swing and a miss. First big league strikeout for Jonathan Cannon. And the family is pretty happy with that. They saved the ball. Gets another ground ball. This one's to first. Vaughn with the flip. And there's two down. Here's Velasquez. And he's DHing. Velasquez slices it to center. Fletcher slips, recovers. It's over his head. Bounces all the way to the fence. Velasquez is into second with a double. Well, that's one way to get the first hit of the ball game. Dominic Fletcher went down by the time he gets up and tries to track the ball. I mean, it, that's almost an impossible regroup there, and it worked nicely. Adam Frazier with a man at second. Here's the pitch to Frazier, and it's swung on and lined to center field for a base hit. So here's Velasquez around third. The throw in will be cut off. The Royals have a one nothing lead. Back to back two out hits. First pitch, too. Nice. Sinker up. Didn't sink quite enough, and Frazier sunk it into center field. Here's Hunter Renfro with a runner at first, two down. The pitch, swinging a line drive. Benintendi will lay out and make the catch. It's after an inning and a half. Royals won. Sox nothing. Eloy Jimenez, he's hitting well over 450 against Brady Singer in his career, but all of those hits have been singles. 3-2, missing up and in, so ball four to Jimenez. Eloy still at first, and that'll bring up Paul DeYoung. Young crushes this to left center field, going back, and he's gone! Paul DeYoung goes yard off Brady Singer, and the White Sox with a 2-1 lead here in the bottom of the second. And for DeYoung, he had never had a hit against Singer. In fact, he had faced him twice, struck out twice. Now this time, couldn't get it by him, and he hit the daylights on him. Here's Bobby Witt Jr. with two outs. Back up the middle, base hit. And so Bobby Witt Jr., a successful check swing, turns into a single. Pasquantino, 0 for 1, flew out to center back of the first. The 2 2 again. And a swing and a miss on the changeup. Second strikeout for Cannon. And he has looked good so far through three. Here's Andrew Vaughn. Dangerous hitter still with no homers yet this year. Got him looking, strike three. Sinker at the bottom of the zone. So one, two, three, first inning for Brady. And he's trying for another one, two, three inning here. Sheets puts a good sound into it. Deep to center. Isbell has room. Brady with a one, two, three, third. We go to the fourth. Two, one, White Sox. Now Brady Singer will go back to work. White Sox have a two, one lead in this ball game. And got him swinging on the slider. That's five strikeouts for Singer today. Okay, he starts that on the outer half of the plate, so when Jimenez sees that, he says that's going to be hittable. Couldn't pick up the spin on it. The former Royal, Andrew Benintendi, is off to a very cold start. 
Slap to left center, and that one will get down for Andrew Benintendi. So a one-out single, and that'll bring up Paul DeYoung. That one in the dirt, there goes Benintendi. And thrown out at second. Five gold gloves reside on the mantle of Salvi Perez. Takes a pinpoint throw to second base and cuts down Ben Attendi. That's ball four. So now a runner with two down. And it'll bring Shoemake to the plate. There's a grounder. And there's Adam Frazier. And there is the third out of the inning. Second time through the order. And he's deep into the second time through the order. They don't have a real good idea about the stuff of Jonathan Cannon. And he gets the strikeout. Third strikeout of the game for Cannon. His first walk comes with one out in the fifth, and it'll bring up Isbell. The young played perfectly, throws over to first. And there's two down. Michael Garcia is 0 for 2 and 0 for his last 21. Runner goes, and the pitch is chopped to third. It's a fair ball behind the bag. Long throw by Shoemake to first in time. So the Royals strand one, last of the fifth, still 2-1 Sox. Jordan Leisure on for the seventh time and giving up nothing to this point. And that will bring up Vinny Pasquantino, who's 0 for 2 today. There's some aggression. Shot to deep left. Benintendi's over. It's over his head and bounces up into the stands. Automatic double for Vinny Pasquantino. So now the Royals have two men on for Nelson Velasquez. There's a fly ball to center with Fletcher backing up at the wall. Will make the catch. Here comes the flamethrower, Michael Kopech. Yeah, he's been terrific, and one of the reasons why he's coming in in the eighth is this is the save inning with one, two, and three for the Royals. Here's Bobby Wood Jr. with one out. Slow roller to third. Shoe makes there. Tough play. with safe. And the Royals have the potential tying run on base. And it's 2-1 with two down in the eighth inning. Junior at second base for Salvador Perez. Salvi. First pitch drill. Deep left center field. Fletcher looks up. It's out of here. Salvador Perez gives the Royals the lead with a two-run homer. That C on his chest doesn't just stand for El Capitan. It stands for clutch. Two down with nobody on, and the count is one and two on Renfro. Renfro drills it deep to left. There's an insurance run. Halfway up the bleachers. Solo shot for Hunter Renfro, and it's four to two. Oh, baby, that's a little cutter right there to cut right into his barrel, and he hit it way out of here. Second home run of the season for Hunter Renfro, and it's up to James MacArthur to close out the game and pick up the save. It's a little dribbler to the right side. Garrett Hampson, who stayed in the game and replaced Frazier now defensively as well. He picks it up and records the first out. Benintendi rolls it to second. Another chance for Hampson. Two outs. Nice. And the Sox down to their final out. Two away. Here's DeYoung. This one hit hard again. Paul DeYoung is in the zone right now. A doubled into that left field corner. And the tying run will come to the plate for the White Sox. Perfect day for Paul DeYoung with a home run, a single and a double, just a triple away from the cycle. Robbie Grossman comes on a pinch hit. Got a couple of pinch home runs. A 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Called strike three. Game over. Royals win. The Royals come from behind and beat the White Sox 4-2.